also a hot dog. Wolf is a hot dog. Okay, I need the uh, lemongrass. I need to grow some of that the new house. Yeah, hey Wolfie. Yeah, I know. Close up Wolfie. <laughs> You know, sweetie. Hi, Priscilla. Hi, Aunt Elaine. Hey, Wolfie. Thank you, Kim. Thank you for the kisses. <laughs> oh, you want kisses too. Oh, Wolfie, you, you're supposed to be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Yukon. Oh, that's not too good, Aunt Elaine. Yeah, fur babies do wonders for me too. Don't you? Is it here? It's been hot. Very, very hot, hasn't it? It says here. It has been crazily hot. Doggies. Is there doggies in the background? Hey, you got my beautiful boy. You got my beautiful boy. Hi, Jen. Oh, really? You want more? I definitely want more. And now Miss Jealous has to pop in. Yeah. She says, Why are you doing that to me? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I lost the doggies. They're over there in the corner, somewhere behind me. <laughs> yeah, well, it uh, ended up getting to 107 yesterday. So, running the air conditioner. Oh, no. Close up, puppy. Hmm? Yeah, close up, puppy. Everybody's back. Got a magnificent tail, my boy. You do. You got a beautiful tail. I know. I've got a beautiful tail. <laughs> yeah, too hot for, for fluffy butts. But this is supposed to be our uh, last day of of the heat and uh, then it's uh, supposed to come down to the 60s again. Uh, humidity is not too bad uh, Priscilla, it's um, oh, yesterday it was a bit high, it got to uh, about 50, 50 percent and the day before was uh, about 40. Look at that. This is something in the air. Somebody's making breakfast. Yeah, and we did absolutely nothing yesterday. It was just too hot. Had the air conditioner running. And uh, we went out for a few minutes and then came back into the air conditioning and did that all day. This is something smelling in here. Yeah, well, um, overnight, uh, not last night, but the night before, 24 robbers came knocking at my door. Um, the humidity got to 
and uh, temperature was uh, overnight, probably around about the 65 degrees. So high humidity, didn't feel it. We had the air conditioner on all, all night. Thanks, Uncle Yukon. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, I know. It's warm, isn't it, sweetie? She said it is warm. It's very hot. Close up. <laughs> it's nice to do her close up. She also needs a brushing. Who wants to come over and give her a brush? <laughs> yes. You're okay. You're a handsome male man. You don't need brushing. She needs brushing. Good on you, Priscilla. Thanks for pouring up so early. I keep on forgetting. I'm always one of the last ones to pour up. Unless you guys remind me. Hey, big boy. This is hot. I don't think it's that hot yet. Ugh. I'm sitting on a rock. <laughs> Let's see yeah, how if you can read this. I'll give it a go. Oh, the sun's right in the bad spot. Turn you into the sun. That make it that makes it a bit easier. Uh, uh, that's interesting. It's back to front. But uh, yeah, it's not uh, about 85 degrees and 55% humidity. And the carnies chasing lizards. There's one love chasing lizards. Lizards move. Not oh, great going up in temperature. It's going to be another 100 degree day today. Hi, Bonnie. There's my big boy. She says, hello. I'm surveying my estate up there. You can see over the fence up there. You love that. Hi, Wolfie. He's a handsome boy. He says, I am. Don't need to tell me that. I know it. <laughs> hey, big boy. She's still got fur coming out of her. Oh, dear. What am I going to do with you, sweetie? She has nothing. I want to hunt. I want these little lizards, these skinks. There she goes. He says, oh, I don't care. I'm just over here surveying. Keep an eye on everything. Did you get it, sweetie? She said, nah. I missed it. Did you miss it, sweetie? She said, I did. Maybe it's going to come out on this side. No. Nah. She said, had enough. Going in for a drink. Don't blame her. It's just going up another degree. That's nearly 90. Great. No wonder you're huffing and puffing, hey, big boy? Mm, you 
beautiful, beautiful big boy. Thank you, Uncle Yukon. You're the greatest. Oh, bacon. They like bacon. We've got bacon in the fridge that needs to be eaten by doggies. He says, what? What was that? Bacon? Did you say bacon? I like bacon. She's hunting again. We need to go shopping. It's been too hot to take the doggies shopping, so I might have to go out today on my own and leave them in air conditioned comfort. I want to get some bones. I've got no bones. What if you want a bone? Sissy, what? What did what, what, you say? That was a cute head tilt. <laughs> I've got bread, but I've uh, got no eggs. Yeah, need to get some eggs. The, we used to get eggs from a local farmer, but she's no longer uh, supplying us anymore. Oh, close the wolfie. Where are you going? And when you think you're going? So he doesn't show it off his butt like somebody I know. Time to dig. Digging is good. Good fun. Okay. Oh, look at this. I'm going to get this lizard. I'm really going to get it. I know it's in there. I'm determined. <laughs> Look at me. Oh. Oh dear. Try and get you into the shade a little bit. It's a bit sunny. It's a bit bleary. Hi, Ty. Are you two crazy critters? <laughs> Happy boy. You have to get some ice cream too, because visitors ate all the ice cream. We got none left. No, no, I've been drinking milk instead. Milk's good for you anyway. Well, a little taste of milk every now and again. <laughs> this is true, Wolfie. <laughs> true. They do love a good rumble. Hi, Christina. How are you? Gosh, you know she has to be. Yeah, it might be like he was after something there. I've missed a wolf. What? I know you're hard. <coughs> really? You got a twig on you. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty boy. <coughs> what? You don't say. Sit 
future plans, Bonnie. Um, moving into the new house. <laughs> Tell that, yeah. Yeah, we do. Some. Oh, hello, hello, Mister. Hello, hello. You can so grab my purple. <laughs> Come here, little baby. Oh, no. I'm going to get the puppy instead. Puppy! <laughs> so we're going to get a, um, a pull for her Christmas present. Um, and I'm still going to do some things for the new house. I'm waiting for my old house to settle. Uh, settlement day is supposed to be the 21st of December. So we've got a really long wait. It's, uh, normally a 30 day settlement. So, unless I put the wrong date on it, which they could have. So, I thought it was supposed to be the 21st of November that it settled. But they put 21st of December. So, it's two months. Definitely. Which uh, cuts us a little bit close funds so i'm going to be very very careful on how much money i spend oh no they're off a pool of dust incoming <laughs> yeah she's very very much like memphis right down to the uh Black dot halfway down her tail. Just a sookie. Just a big lap dog she is. And she's off. <laughs> no, uh, my new house uh, I actually bought a couple of years ago. I had it as just as a rental. So I was just renting it out for the last three years now, uh, well, three years in January, I've had that and just been working on it. It was very run down. Uh, it was sold as a uh, demolishing job. So, yeah, it was, it was needed everything. Never really looked after. Um, I've spent probably about $35,000, $40,000 doing it up. it had good bones um so this house here this is actually mum's so I'm, I'm living in mum's at the moment and i'm only living here because it's in probate and a lot of the, the furniture that was in this house was supposed to uh, was uh, gifted to me and i can't move the furniture while everything's in probate until mid-january and then I can get the removalist in and move all the furniture up to my house because I have got the bare bones. I've got a dining table, I've uh, got no bed, I've got no lounge. Um, when I moved or did the uh, renovations uh, to the old house, uh, I just threw everything in the bin because it was, oh, oh, everything was 20 years old and had it. Mum's stuff is. This uh, was only a holiday unit. And uh, uh, so they bought brand new stuff for this place. So it's only like four or five years old. So why throw this stuff out and might as well just keep it. And wouldn't get anything for it uh, if, I, uh, if I gave it to charity or something, or to the auctions. So we'll just keep it. And, I bought a new stove for this one because the old stove has had it. Uh, it's actually a duplex, so I'm turning it back into a duplex. So it's a two bedroom and a three bedroom. And that way I get double the, not really double the rent. There's not a huge amount more rent when I rent this out, but uh, it gives me the security that if only half of it is rented, I'll still get income. Long-winded explanation. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's that's the plans at the moment is to to rent this out. Unfortunately, with Mum's lovely garden, 
um, that she's put in, put a lot of time, a lot of money and effort. Um, I, I'm just hoping that the tenants are going to look after it because it's a really nice garden. Hello. <laughs> it's very sunny out here. Hi, Elena. And she's all hot and bothered and everything there. Says, that was that was a tough job with all that rough housing. Uh, yeah, uh, I've got a cousin coming up on the supposed to be on the twenty third. So I I could move. Um, if I wanted to, uh, but with that cousin coming up, and I'm not in any hurry. We've got solar panels here, so there's no no power bill. Uh, if I moved up to our new house, I'd have to pay the power. And in this heat wave, I'll be paying a lot of power to run the air conditioner. Photos. Oh, we love photos. Don't we? We do. Photos are good. We've got lots of photos. I've gone through uh, a lot of my dad's albums. My sister uh, was supposed to take them when she was here last week, but she didn't know what they were about. And I had to look at them and went through these three really old leather bound black and white photos albums and uh a lot of my sister just said oh there's a lot of girl pictures but they're all of the same girl and that was my dad's girlfriend before he met mum and it's uh got him driving the uh the getting the family car which i didn't even know it was a hand-me-down i thought that he bought it but it was a 1926 hudson six really nice condition and I think uh, it was my granddad's car, but my granddad passed away when my dad was in his early teens. So he ended up inheriting it and just driving it around. Looked like a, they looked after it really, really well. It was, looked, looked like a brand new car. And that was in the, uh, oh, uh, when would that be? Probably late 40s, 1940s. And it looked like a brand new car then, and it was a 20 year old car. And then my uh, dad had a, um, a Woody. And he, him and his girlfriend were riding around in a Woody, and they, so they've got some photos of that. And then he got a Austin. Um, looked like some beat up thing, and that's when he met mum. So that was in the early 60s. He was driving around this old Austin. Um, I said, Oh, Triumph. I think it was a Triumph. Apparently, mum said it was a piece of rubbish. <laughs> so, um, so they had that very shortly, and then uh, my dad had a, um, a old Holden. And he only had the old Holden for six months. And I always thought it was a different model until I saw the photos and it was actually the earlier model. And he paid 700 pounds for the car. And six months later, he said that he uh, sold it for, uh, I think it was 1,100 pounds because people just couldn't buy them. So that was some really good photos. Yeah, I saw that wolf there about the um, the pig. I always wanted to get a pig, but it was a small a small pig I wanted. Not too sure about a big pig. And I'll just take it. That was before I got 
to, to Carney, and I just wanted to take Wolf in the pig for a walk. Imagine that going up the road. Put a harness on a pig and put a harness on him and go for a walk. <laughs> wonder if anybody would notice. Yeah, I see the odd pet chicken uh, going for a walk. Never seen a, um, a cat being taken for a walk. Um, when we were growing up in the farm, uh, Dad used to take his ducks for a walk. Not on a lead, of course, but uh, we were living off a main road, on a main road, and uh, he had two and a half thousand ducks, and he said that he'll change paddocks. And the only way to get them from one paddock to another was to walk them along the road. And I said, well, didn't people want to, you know, just keep on going? You know, go plowing straight through the ducks. And he says, who wants to run over a duck? So everybody just stopped moving while he was moving these two and a half thousand ducks down the road. That would have been so cute. I reckon pigs are actually quite intelligent. Probably more intelligent than what she is. <laughs> silly girl. She says, oh, I, I can be silly. I'm a puppy. You're not really a puppy anymore, sweetie. Her ears have changed colour. They've gone from a um, from pink into a darker brown. So she's gone over the hill, I'm afraid. Three and a half years old. Isn't that right, sweetie? You've got no. Yeah, um, I'm actually, um, don't tell her, but she's getting a, um, a pull for her Christmas. Um, she might probably get it a little bit early, depending on the weather. Um, if it's really, really hot, um, she'll be getting a, a pool. Um, and uh, I'll be running it off rainwater tanks. So it's not going to cost me anything for water. And I won't use chlorine or anything like that at this stage because being rainwater, I can just empty the pool whenever I feel like it and just fill it up again. Okay, Bonnie, you take care of yourself and we'll catch up soon. I'm assuming you're going live to, uh, in oh, nearly 24 hours. Yes, so that's 24, 26 hours. Seems a long, long time away. <laughs> 26 hours. Yeah, I saw that you guys are, uh, some of you guys are voting. Although it's for you guys, it's uh, for the US, it's um, not compulsory. For us, it's in Australia. They say it's not compulsory, but it really is. It's uh, They say it's not compulsory as long as you're willing to pay the fine. And it's a $50 fine if you don't vote. So how do you make that not compulsory? And I think uh, uh, we're going to have elections next year. I can feel it. Uh, they're doing a lot of um, political running around at the moment. Um, they're going also the regional areas and all that sort of thing. So I've changed my uh, my address and everything like that. They're still registered in the old house because I can't register them here uh, because they need dog tags 
and where they're from, we, they did not supply dog tags. Hence why they don't have collars on them. And because it makes them a lot more cuddly. So I have, have waiting for proof that they are actually registered and then I can get their registrations transferred over. And oh, I just realised the carning might be going to the vet when Bonnie goes live. Ah, oh, I've got to check that. So I might miss Bonnie's um, live stream. Oh, that'd be a shame. So who is running Uncle Yukon? It's hard. Wow, it's hundred and two degrees here. Hundred and two. Thirty four degrees Celsius. And humidity's gone through the roof. It's now 70%. Oh, it's a bit humid. <laughs> uh, well, that's um, quite normal, isn't Uncle Yukon? Yeah. Here they always say, oh, do you have to, you know, we'll give you uh, tax reductions and all that sort of thing. And when they get in six months later, there's another tax. So how are you reducing taxes when you're actually creating new ones? That probably explains why we're changing prime ministers every, like, probably nine months. Because nobody trusts them. And they keep on getting kicked out. All right, girl. No, we'll finish again the toilet. Yeah, politics don't really doesn't it doesn't interest me. They're all as bad as one another. That's a, such a different view for a for a buck. He puts his tail down and says, "You're not watching my buck. I know you got the camera on me." And Tonka is like, "Here's my buck. I'm proud of it." <laughs> the camera's on me again. Tail goes down. Hmm. Politicians are mushrooms. What do you reckon? Well, thinking of the same sort of line. <laughs> hey, sweetie, what are you doing up there? 
anyway everybody it's really getting hot so we're going to go inside and leave you to it and turn on the air conditioner wolfie is starting to struggle the poor boy because it is too hot i can't handle this for a long time Yeah, he's very proud of his, his rear end, isn't he? Very proud. My boy, he he just wants to cuddle. That's all he wants. He says, no, nah, I show you my, my best side. My best side is my front. He wants to show off his mask. To can his heart. <laughs> Look at it. He's in the doorway. It is hard up here. I'm just lying, lying on the tiles. Okay, everybody, we're going to sign off. So take care. Take care. See you.